Godzilla Aftershock is set after the events of Godzilla 2014 and before the events of Godzilla King of the Monsters. This comic shows the orca prototype created by Dr. Emma Russell. This comic also shows Alan Jonah as the antagonist from Godzilla King of the Monsters. I will say, the comic made it clear that Muto Prime was trying to gain strength from any nuclear source it can get. Godzilla in sheer desperation to live, is after Muto Prime. Godzilla knows, that if Muto Prime regains its full strength, he would suffer the same fate as Dagon or the skeletal Godzilla remains from the Philippines. Not only that, but the human race will suffer, if Muto Prime successfully infects Godzilla. Let's just say, the Muto race would take over the world. Now as for the artwork, I will say, it is better than Godzilla Awakening. The only error I can see in this comic, was King Ghidorah in that monitor screen. But I will view that as art error. Art error usually happens in comics. See the Transformers comics for details, since some of them have lots of art error. Story was okay. I will give Godzilla Aftershock a 4 out of 5.